All right, hello. It's been a little while. It's only been a while since I've shot one of these. Um, Jade, you're welcome to sit down. And uh, I'm joined by Jade and Denver, who are having their breakfast. Uh, this is the only good room for shooting. And Denver, can you sit down, please? And um, basically, this is going to be my unboxing of the MetaQuest Pro. Uh, thanks to Meta for sending this to me, by the way. And uh, Denver, you're in my shot. You're going to have to sit over here or there. Actually, sit over here. Thanks. Jade, can you sit down? And you guys, you need to stop banging your spoons. Otherwise, it's not going to work. I asked that earlier. Okay. So the, the main point of this is it's an unboxing. It's kind of a family unboxing. Uh, we're here in Grandma's house. Uh, on unfortunate uh, terms, but uh, we're going to make do as we're here. Um, this big, big, lovely old kitchen. The house was built in like the 1800s. So it's, uh, it's a really interesting place to shoot from. Uh, meanwhile, the kids eat grape nuts, and uh, we opened this brand new headset. Now, they both used Quest 2 quite a bit. I just got to use Quest 3 um, for about, probably about three to four hours um, in, in Palo Alto in California. And so one of the premises of the Quest Pro is that it would be the headset that would replace, at least Meta wanted us to use it to replace uh, for work, right? That we would be using this headset. Now, it says on... Inside the box, um, it says there's a MetaQuest Pro headset, two MetaQuest Touch Pro controllers, a charging dock, power adapter, uh, controller, charge cable, charging cable, two stylus tips. What the stylus tips are for? Stylus tips? Um, light. Oh, yeah, so you can use the uh, controllers as pens. Oh, that's cool. That was? Uh, you can use them. Look, see this? You can use them as a pen. So you hold it like a pen and you write with it. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, what else has it got? Two light blockers, left and right. So there's light blockers so that you can actually surround the facial gasket. And then protective cover, cleaning cloth, two wrist straps. That's the most I've ever seen in a, in a box. There is a charging dock, so you can just drop it down. Um, a lot of people thought this was like over-engineered. Uh, this has been my first ever product from Meta. Up until this point, it's all been Oculus. Uh, and I, honestly, I was very much counter to the whole rebranding. I loved the Oculus brand, and I think them sinking it was a bad idea, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, I think the headset design is really nice. The box is really cool, uh, but for a $1,500 headset, uh, which has now been reduced in price, um, my real concern or my real question about this is this, can I use it for working, for productivity, um, using it maybe in conjunction with Virtual Desktop, which is a great app. I've always loved uh, Guy Godin's contribution to VR. Uh, but also, are we going to be able, um, let me just put that laptop over there, are we going to be able to uh, use this for things, you know, like gaming experiences and find it to be a compelling experience? We've got face tracking, eye tracking, but there's not that many apps right now that use that. Let me grab a knife so that we've got something around here. Here we go. There's one. Aha. Small. Like uh, Ocean Craft, huh? Mm -hmm. Like Ocean Craft, where Jade held up, uh, held us all for ransom. So I'm excited about this because this is the, this is a premium product, right? It's um, it's definitely designed for high end VR, and with that, box is a little different to what I was expecting. So this is our unboxing. Normally I do a Zim unboxing with a full hat cam and everything. But seeing as we're on the road, I'm not able to do that. So instead decided I'd, can you mind it with a spoon, Denver, please? Maybe it won't come out on the video, but this is pretty neat. Yeah. It's such a heavy, it's a heavy box as well. So it certainly feels premium. Um, I was hoping to be able to cover this a few months ago when they uh, launched, I think it was last December. But here we are 10 months later. Um, it's been through some challenges, right? Like definitely this has been through some challenges. I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here. Uh, Denver's to my side and Jade's over there. And I think you can probably see Jade at least. MetaQuest Pro, lovely like that same recycled cardboard box which they've been shipping with since the CV1. And so that's really quite good. <laughs> Morning, John. I'm shooting a video, so uh, you're welcome to cross by it, but. <laughs> I'm doing that at the minute with the kids. <laughs> or you can combat crawl and they won't see you. Uh, uh, no worries. It won't take me that long. 
Um, okay, what have we got? So inside we've got Jace Quest Pro. All right, protective cover. So there's silicone cover on the inside and we've got some controllers with odd markings. Jay, do you see that? See these markings? Yeah. What's that about? Hmm. There's like some very weird, maybe I can show you. Um, the controllers themselves have like a weird, mm. almost like a powder marking to them. I'll see if I can show you um, just while we're doing this. And maybe this will resync. Yeah. Oh, I put it on fixed focus for the video. Sorry, it's not going to work. But there's a weird powdery feel to them. Um, almost like there was a like an L or R indicator. I don't think they reboxed this, but there's like, yeah, there's a weird fuzz. Almost like you get on chocolate. Um, so that, okay, first off, the controller in hand feels great. I did use these at GDC, uh, but I haven't used them subsequently. And so let's go ahead and see if we can go through all of these little steps here. Okay, so that's one. That's another one. They feel nice. Definitely a very different kind of feeling to them. Um, and Denver, just make sure to close that door, okay? Thanks. Now, the back head mount actually pivots. And I didn't know that. There's a big dial. Uh, the rear of the head strap. And it's very kind of balanced look. And that's the look of the headset. Whoa. Isn't that cool? It looks like an alien. It's a mirror. You know, there's 16 cameras in this thing. One, two, three, four, five. And then the actual controllers have cameras. One, two, three, yeah, yeah each. Three each. So it's six and six, six so you can plus five on the front. That's 11. And then inside the headset, you've got, what does it say? No sunlight on lenses, no liquid cleaners. Uh huh. It looks so cool. Now we're not going to do a lot of like impressions or anything with this yet because I need to use it as my daily driver. I'm going to play with it now in just a minute. But we thought we'd just at least do the unboxing experience together. Uh, what do you think of that, Jade? What is that? Oh, you're eating. Sorry. You go ahead and finish. That's such a cool look to the front end. It kind of looks like a sad panda a little bit. It's a little bit of a sad panda. Just all black. Yeah, an all, an all black sad panda. Um, okay, what else have we got in here? So that is the charging station. I gotta say, opening experience, like if you bought this for 1500, it does, it does feel, it feels really nice. That's the charging mount. So you're able to place the headset. Oh, I just munged it up. The thing is the front of it is a fingerprint magnet. Oh, and it's got the same thing the Quest 3 has which is a very, very clear edge. So it blows hot air through the ridge off the device inside. Um, that's really cool. And I know a lot of people who like, like this as their daily driver. I was like, there's no way it's gonna be a daily driver for me, no way. And then you put the little controllers on the charger and they all sit together. Now you won't be able to see the, the, the controllers, but they're, they're all sitting together on this pad and that charging pad then connects. Now there is a light blocker in here. Um, like I said, you're going to see it when I use it uh, in real life, but this was just kind of an initial open it and see what's going on. Um, so you get the kind of idea of it. I'm really excited to be able to using this. We're going to play Space Pirate Arena. Um, oh, and Spatial Ops. Spatial Ops in the basement. We're going to do Quest Pro versus Quest 3 in, in, uh, in Spatial Ops at home in Canada. We're home in a couple of days. Um, we're gonna be driving back tomorrow. Uh, so provided we manage that 12 hour drive in one go, uh, we will be back and there'll be more to do. There's certainly more to do. Now there's a protective cover here that it's showing me. This is a protective cover for the front part of the device. I'm gonna go ahead and open that. This box is great. I, I really like the uh, Oculus and Meta boxes. Now this is like a silicone protective cover. So you put that on. Do I look like Batman? Yes, you do. <laughs> needs your eyes cut out. And so because the front of it is all, I'll call it glass, 
I think that's all glass. Uh, there's a rubber protector. It's like a giant, it's like a, got to use protection, you know what I mean? All right, so there you go. Well, that's actually really cool, just in terms of how it looks. It looks like a generic, amorphic. But it's, it's gone. It's gone. What do you mean? I put a protector on it. Oh. That's just, you can touch it. It's a silicone protector. I thought um, you put it on the inside. No, that's, so that's to protect the face part. And I'm gonna squeeze that in. That's pretty neat. The problem with the silicone protector is it covers up the charging pins. So with the protector on it, uh, you, you can't charge it, which is a silly oversight, to be honest. All right, now, you rotate this back, the cable comes back, stick it on your forehead, dial it in, and boom, you are Batman forever. I look forward to trying this out. This is going to be fun. All right, so we got that. There's a light blocker gasket and things like that in this box as well. One more thing. Ready? Watch a magic trick. All right. Would you like a bunny rabbit? Bunny rabbit! It's not a bunny rabbit. It's not bunny rabbit. So these are the side blockers. And these are basically just plastic grommets that you put on your willy. Uh, these are not for the willy. This is for the headset. You put it on the sides, left and right. So what happens is you block out the light uh, with the headset, and I don't know, I've never mounted one of these before, but I suppose they just kind of click in here. Oh, they're like magnetically. Oh, that's very cool. It just like, it just sucked it into the headset with magnets. I didn't know there were magnets in there. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give this a shot. That's the start. That's our little unboxing. I just wanted to get that going. I'm going to play with the device now today, along with the kids. Um, and we'll try it out. I'm going to try it, see if I can do it like in a virtual desktop environment with work. So an incompatible with VR desktop, like a laptop, like my, uh, my, my uh, XPS uh, Dell 13-inch screen, right? So I'm going to try to do it with that one as well. And we're just going to see uh, how that works. So let's go ahead and close that. No one needs to see. Um, okay, so accessories, all good. We've got... Various bits and pieces. Will I remember how this all goes together? I hope so. Uh, there are some cables, I'm sure, in here and like a power brick, stuff like that. I'll just take a quick peek. Make sure there's nothing like incredible that I'm forgetting in the video. What is this thing? There's like a... Oh, that's neat. Okay, so the power brick is a tiny little two-prong American charger. And I will... American grid, and I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. But I'm very excited for MetaQuest 3. I think it's a fantastic device. We've, uh, we've certainly got a lot of contact time with it. Thank you for those who participated in the Reddit post that we did recently. It was like 600 comments. It's crazy. Answered all kinds of AMA questions. So that was three hours uh, with MetaQuest 3. And what have we got? Oh, look at this. This is a nice little... Look at that. Shiny. Isn't that nice? Yeah. That's like, that's like the best power bank. It's 45 watt. Look, like it's got the little meta logo on it. No, it's a, it's a baby meta. It's a baby yeah. meta logo. The like infinity symbol that Jade was talking about a little bit earlier. Okay, so that's cool. I wasn't expecting to like the power brick, but it's fucking fancy. All right, now we got a charging dock cable and a controller charging pin. They send you a charging pin for one controller, which is ridiculous. Why would you just want to charge one of them? Makes no sense. That, that's still, they're like, ah, don't, don't ship them so many cables, just ship them the one. No, ship two, please. Premium product, that's a big, big snafu. Ooh, then they've got a, a cleaning cloth, which is beautiful. And this is like a welcome to MetaQuest Pro booklet and then the safety warnings. So let me see, would I even look at this? This talks about, yeah, what do you see? Hand gestures, see? Talks about hand gestures, talks about the fitting wheel, the battery light status. There's like eight different statuses from blue, green, red, red flashing, wow. amber, <laughs> uh, inactive. What else is on the back here? So we've got, uh, this is talking about the charging instructions, charging cable clip, 
and wrist strap. That's pretty cool. What are your thoughts on this so far, Jane? What do you What do you think? This, Amazing. It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool, honestly. Um, it's a really cool device. Again, I want to thank Meta for uh, sending us this. And um, it sounds like we've got some other equipment on the way, so we're going to be putting those to the you test. Mm. The new new headset, the MetaQuest 3. Yeah, that's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. All right, with that, well, that's us for the uh, initial unboxing. And so we're going to leave it there. Uh, high five. Hey, hey, let's go and put this thing to the test. Definitely want to try it out. See you in the volcano. <laughs>